Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsosi and maybe I should not swing the sword at you. We are back in another day in Minecraft here on top of our uh, started gold farm, which we will complete in this episode. So let's get right into the time lapse and uh, I will share some insights with you. The spawning platforms are pretty simple, as we have built this farm in the nether waste biome, uh, we should only get uh, spawns of zombified piglins, uh, ghasts, piglins and uh, magma cubes. And to prevent anything other than the zombified piglins, we make sure that we do not have spawning spaces that are three high. Uh, that prevents the gas and the magma cubes. Uh, and this is also why the uh, two spawning layers we have are two blocks high and on top we have glass uh, placed but not uh, uh, all over but just uh, sparingly so that the gas spawning is prevented and then we use uh, magma blocks uh, and on those only the zombified piglins can spawn and not the piglins themselves. There is one piece still missing in this farm and it lies right behind this camera view. So here, out there, a few blocks outside the spawning platforms, uh, there is A block and we need to get one of these guys on there so can yes so let's move this one over there right then Let's break the rails without breaking the blocks beneath. Can also play, break this one. Um, can break the block behind there and that one break the minecart but only the minecart right then we can get rid of the rail down here right and then I have a name tag yes you're angry because this one will be the zombified piglin that stays angry while all the rest from the spawning platforms rush to the middle and if they are then killed um, the uh, angry guy back here will anger the uh, other ones that again spawn and uh, they will again run towards the middle which we will try out in a minute. Now then let's see if this is working. As you can hear the machines, the contraptions are pushing and pulling. Uh, so we should be good. As this will get quite noisy, noisy I will turn the uh, hostile creatures down uh, so that I do not have to shout and 
all the way back there we can see our alert pigman the angry one uh, so uh, he will not despawn but basically all the rest uh, they will despawn once I uh, go down and leave the area and if I stand here on this glass block I can whack them no problem uh, of course a diamond sword with a few more enchantments would be even better but the most important part here is that I do have looting on it so that we get more drops and the zombified piglins would even die without my help because they will bunch up in the two corners and uh, if there are more than 24 in there they die due to entity cramming but then we would only get the golden nuggets and not the golden ingots which is what we are mainly after of course out of nine nuggets we can create one ingot and I would assume that a good portion of our gold will come from that uh, but as you can see uh, if we go down here uh, we will probably not have much gold in here because the uh, um, the hoppers up there for the filters they have to fill up first but here uh, on the nuggets we already have quite a bit on the side so this it, it will take a while until we get until we get uh, uh, sufficient gold but we have a functioning gold farm so next time we can actually focus on uh, the other mechanics to get a proper villager trading hall so I hope you enjoyed this uh, golden episode and join next time when we see about villagers. I will stay here and do a bit more whacking in the meantime. See ya!